All right, everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm gonna do a video today on how to heal your shadow. And this is essential, essential work on the spiritual path, on the ascension path, on the awakening path. Shadow is gonna come up for you and you need to heal it. There is some, you need to integrate it, you need to feel it to heal it basically, that's the way to do it. And there are some, like in some new age circles, they kind of want to ignore the shadow side of things and just focus on the love and light idea. And, you know, focusing on the love and light is great. And I think that's part of the dynamic. We want to connect with these higher aspects of ourselves. We want to bring that um, love energy down into the body. We want, you know, visual, visualization meditations, uh, connecting with these high consciousnesses, um, spirit guides, you know, all that kind of stuff that's beautiful and good and it's something I do. But you, we also need to be aware that shadow is going to come up and that can't be ignored basically. When any shadow comes up in you, the best way through it is to fully feel it, like move deeper into it. Don't, don't um, push it away, don't push it down any dark negative emotions that might come up in you, move into them and feel them, feel them fully. And the, the beautiful thing is as well, when you do this and you allow yourself to be okay with that and okay with feeling it, the light kind of automatically comes in. It's like you're creating space for more light to come in. Um, you know, if you don't, if you're just doing say like the, the light side of it, just bringing light in, um, you know, that, that can actually help release things and can actually help release shadow and darkness in the body. But then you've got to feel it once it does that. It's like, um, but also you, you maybe, you know, maybe you can be just bringing that in without really, you know, without really facing that stuff. And then you're just kind of in denial. Um, and in a certain way, maybe pushing it even further down. So, yeah, you've got to feel and heal each other. It's, it's absolutely essential. And I heard a while ago, you know, this idea, it's like, if you know, when you were a little kid, like digging a hole on the beach and, um, I can't remember. Oh, it was a, yeah, it was a video by uh, Tobias Lars, who I really love. I, I watched lots of his videos. Um, on, he's on he's a YouTuber. I needed a video on this topic, and, and I think he mentioned about like a little kids digging holes in the sand at the beach, and the water just comes in and you know just comes in and fills it up straight away. And so, yeah, that's kind of what it's like when when you clear the shadow. It's like uh, love, light, energy, kind of God source energy, whatever you want to call it, is everywhere. Want it to come in, and as soon as that darkness is cleared in your body, it just floods in. Um, so, in a certain way, you don't really have to worry about that so much. Um, I mean, yeah, that's that's you know, it's still very important to be connected with those higher energies and stuff. But, but what I'm saying is, when you clear that in your body, it's like you've just created space for more of that divine energy to just flood into the body. Um, so, yeah, just a quick video, really just to say you can't avoid this stuff it's no good pretending it's it's not there and the best way to heal and integrate it is when it comes up feel it move fully into it whatever's coming up if whatever like fears um are coming up whatever uncomfortable feelings in the body you know you, you might be really scared of these feelings you might be really scared of this energy or these emotions there might be emotions that you've not felt since you were a child or something that you've really suppressed. But if we can get into our hearts and get our courage to move into that fearlessly, fearlessly move into those energies fearlessly uh, and be with them, sit with them, even send love to them, that's, that's very beneficial. That is going to help integrate them. Really, all this stuff, in my opinion, or, mo or most of it, or a lot of it, <laughs> is aspects of ourselves that we've cut off in some way. Um, you know, I've, talk, I've talked about this in some of my other videos and it's probably a, going to be, a, be an ongoing theme, I guess, in my videos of the idea of sh um, soul retrieval. It's like a shamanic concept of sh soul retrieval. 
And I think a lot of the times these are bits of our soul, uh, or psyche is maybe more an appropriate term for it than soul in, in a certain way, but that got split off in times of trauma or also just emotions that we never really expressed at the time when they were going on and they constantly wanted to come back for integration and the thing that's quite brutal about the spiritual path sometimes is when you clear things like you'll do a lot of spiritual work maybe or you will bring a lot more light into the body in whatever way you, you know you move you take a big step forward and as soon as you do that almost it's like you might get a little respite but then all the rest of the stuff wants to come in. It's like, it's my turn, it's my turn. <laughs> I've been waiting for ages. You know, like these other, other sort of parts that are coming back in for healing. It's like the party started almost. It's like you've, you, you know, you're healing and they're like, yes, yes. And they're wanting to come back in, wanting to come back in. And so that can be, that can be tough on this path because you feel like, wow, is this ever going to end type thing? You know, it's like, um, yeah, and then and and it can you know you can be feeling really good, you've just integrated a lot, you're feeling on top of the world, you just and then it's like boom, Mars coming back in, Mars coming back in, um, but yeah, it all wants to be it all wants to be acknowledged and loved, uh, and and integrated. So so yeah, I often just I, I'll just hold space for any shadow that comes up in me now, um, be with it and allow it to be expressed. Um, and yeah, welcome it in and give it love. Hold a loving, hold a loving heart centered space for the darkness as well. And that's, that's my method of, that's how I in integrate the shadow. And yeah. So yeah, to summarize, it's like, this stuff can't be avoided. Um, there's no, it's no good trying to pretend it doesn't exist or cutting it off. Um, you really want to be, in my opinion, like this, the, the balance point. You want to be the, the heart point, the center point of being able to fearlessly move into the shadow and also being able to connect with the light and your, your higher self. And, and, um, yeah, things like that so okay i hope this video was helpful for some people and i will see you in the next video much love peace bye